estás, mi amigos? And welcome to Wheat, the marijuana review show where we help you make sense of your dispensary. So I've got my standard 510 battery here with no cartridge on the end. That means that we are going to be doing another cartridge review here on Wheat. And what are we taking a look at here today? We are taking a look at Lola Vape Cartridge. The Gold and Bright Half Gram Gorilla Glue Number 4. My favorite strain of all time. Love it a lot. Um, and uh, this is our first time we've taken a look at Lola. Lola Lola, excuse me. It's doubled up. Lola Lola, as you can see there on the back. Established in 2015, so they've been around for three years. Let's read their back here. They farm premium grade A fresh flower. They extract strain-specific cannabis concentrates. They produce 100% pure golden bright oil, and we experience high-potency cannabinoids flavored by nature's terpenes. Lovely that they don't add any chemical concentrates or anything like that. It's all pure terpenes. Notes of earth, pine, and hops. Supreme relaxation and euphoria that will glue you to the couch. They say they claim 70% plus THC at lolalola.com. It uh, doesn't actually have the lab results on there, which is a little disappointing. Interesting package here. A lot, like little Pikmin-y looking guys there at the bottom of my camera will focus. I uh, can't really tell what's going on with Lola Lola and their weird little guys there or this flying elephant or any of the stuff going on the package packaging, but it's kind of colorful and I kind of like it. Um, so let's go ahead and open it up here and uh, get straight to the cartridge. And if you've never watched one of our Wheats cartridge reviews before, the way it works is I'm going to open this up, uh, go through you guys with a live taste test, see how it feels, see how it's potent, uh, talk about the cartridge design, all that, yada, yada, yada. And then actually after I finish this cartridge, so in a couple of days, I'll come back to you guys and actually give you the wrap-up thoughts, let you know what we think of Lola Lola, you know, after we finish the cartridge, not just at the very beginning. Okay. Almost gotten it open here. Trickier to open than I would have guessed. But I'm also not as bright as your average consumer. Oh wow, this is some elaborate packaging. It sort of origami folds up and out and over and ooh, it's bright gold. It's the first time I've seen a tip colored that way before. So here it is, a sort of brass tip hybrid Gorilla Glue, Lola Lola. There's their little symbol on the top, I guess their logo. And your standard little plastic cover at the bottom. Let's screw it onto our battery here and give it the old test. So I picked this up for a very affordable $25 here at my dispensary, pre-crazy Los Angeles County taxes, but uh, so a very affordable 25 bucks for this half gram cartridge. Oil looks really good on there, uh, in there. I like the cartridge design from here. Um, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and give it a taste. pretty good it's got that sort of <coughs> piney kind of gorilla gluey taste the cartridge is a little tough to draw from there's a very small hole at the top and it took a, a, a bit of an effort to get the um to actually get it to draw and as you can see you don't get the biggest clouds from this cartridge design <coughs> <coughs> this isn't like a heavy hitters or a brass knuckles where you're going to pull huge, huge clouds from it. But I like the taste. <coughs> Let me see how I feel here. Definitely feeling it after the three or four draws there. Um, not... I'd say I'm at maybe a three, somewhere in that range right now. Definitely feeling a little medicated. Not not as high as some of the other more potent ones. This isn't, again, a heavy hitter or an Orchid Essentials. But I'm certainly feeling it. 
Um, and uh, I like the taste. The cartridge design, I like how it feels in the mouth. I like the contour design, but it's just a little tough to draw from. And um, it does come out just a little bit hot, too. I might turn my voltage down and see if that helps a little bit. Um, but overall, I'm pretty happy with it for the price I paid for it. For 25 bucks, seems to be right about in line with that price point, uh, perhaps even a little bit of a good value. Um, but my initial thoughts are, this is not my favorite cartridge. Uh, this would be about a mid-tier cartridge. Um, this is not, doesn't hit as hard as the heavy hitters, the brass knuckles. Uh, doesn't taste as good as the Orchid Essentials. And uh, isn't as easy to draw from as, say, like the, uh, what's a good one? To, what's a good, oh, the brass knuckles are heavy hitters. Super easy to draw from as well. But, um... It is a value price cartridge, uh, so you uh, are getting a pretty good deal on it. So I'm going to be puffing on this for the next couple of days, guys, and I will let you know what we ultimately think of it after I've gone through this whole cartridge here. I will stop by and give you guys my final wrap-up thoughts. Thank you so much for watching Weets, and I will see you guys Thanks for watching. See you soon. Peace. Hi, friends. It has been three days since I last checked in with you, and I am here to give you my uh, final thoughts on the Lola Lola, I believe that is the name, Lola Lola Gorilla Glue cartridge. Here we are. And as you can see, there is still a decent little bit of wax in there that I cannot get out uh, due to this cartridge design. I'm not sure how well it'll focus, but they've got these two holes on either sides of the cartridge, which is where um, the uh, vapor uh, gets drawn in from. But the cartridge design doesn't allow you to get it, get at the oil at the very bottom because of the way it builds up there on the side. And I can't get it to roll down. So uh, that being said, um, the cartridge design is not my favorite part of this. Uh, the cartridge design is not very good. As I said, it left some oil in there that I couldn't access. It was tough to draw from. Um, it was not an easy draw. And even with a hefty pull from the lungs, you're not going to get those sort of big, big pulls or draws, or I think they call them clouds, uh, that you're going to get with like a brass knuckle or a heavy hitter or a orchid or something of that nature. Uh, you can pull a lot and you're just going to get a little tiny bit. Um, that may be better for some than others, but for me, I prefer a bigger sort of draw. Um, so yeah, it's tough to inhale from. It leaves some oil left over and the taste wasn't great either. The taste never impressed me. I don't know if it's just because I find the taste of Gorilla Glue not to be as great as I once did, but uh, I, I found it good. Um, I found the taste to be good but not, not outstanding. Um, it was, uh, it was a little piney for me and a little, um, and it did start to burn hotter as the, uh, cartridge went down. So taste wasn't outstanding either. Um, and potency also on that front, um, this wasn't the most potent car, uh, cartridge I have reviewed for sure. It, uh, kind of came and went very quickly. The high, sort of got to the two and a half kind of level, you know, uh, after a couple of draws. And then sort of 10 minutes later, it would kind of vanish uh, just as quickly as it came upon. Um, so I, I think this Lola Lola is ultimately going to get a pass for me. It is a good price. This was the most affordable cartridge I've reviewed yet at, I think it was like twenty three fifty, whatever it was. I've lost the box since, unfortunately. Uh, it was pretty affordable. So if you're looking for something a little bit better price, uh, this might be up your alley. Um, but for me, I think I'm going to stick with, uh, if I'm going to go with the cheaper brands, I'm going to go with a Rove or a Skullgirls, something like that. Uh, I think I'm going to pass on the Lola Lola's from now on. Although I do think it's pretty. I do think it is a pretty little cartridge, all gold and everything like that. And But other than that, uh, don't have a whole lot to love about this Lola Lola. There are better alternatives out there if you know where to look. So guys, that is going to do it for this review. Before I bounce, however, I want to give you a quick cherry on top. Uh, something that I find that is not necessarily weed related, although it can be, uh, just to kind of help you guys 
um, give you something to maybe do while you're high, something to experience while high, or maybe just uh, not even high, just, uh, you know, because it's something great and uh, it's something worthy of sharing. And this week, I want to share with you uh, something I'm pulling out of left field here, a guy whose name has not been uttered in probably uh, close to a decade, and that is the thriller horror author Scott Smith. Uh, he's only produced two works so far, A Simple Plan and The Ruins, and both of those were about a decade apart. And The Ruins, I think, was published in like 2006, 2007, maybe even earlier. Um, so, and it has, the last thing that he has published, uh, so we're anxiously awaiting something new from him, but these are some of the best page turners in the business. If you like, uh, sort of explosive plotting, um, uh, absolutely thrilling sequences, just dense, dense, but at the same time, uh, just, I mean, these are the popcorn reads of, of the novel world. I mean, you just cannot put these books down. These are in the rarefied categories. I believe both of these books are books that I finished in a single day. Uh, it doesn't happen too often, but both of his novels finish in a single day. So if, you, uh, if you're if you looking for something to read and you're looking for something fun, well, n neither of them may be fun, but they are certainly enjoyable. Again, that is Scott Smith, the author, who has not graced us with a uh, new novel in like 12 years. Scott Smith, the author, and his two novels, uh, The Ruins and A Simple Plan. Check them out. They are great. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this cherry on top and this review here on Wheats. I appreciate you sticking around here to the very end, everybody. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you guys on the next review. Peace.